Okay, ladies and gents, today uh, I'm going to do a tutorial called uh, Things You May or May Not Know About the Selector Tool. And uh, because there's a lot to cover, I'm probably going to do this in several parts. Now, I don't pretend to be the all-knowing guru when it comes to Zara tools. As a matter of fact, I learned a few new things when I, uh, by preparing this tutorial. But it uh, might be a good topic for a series of beginner tutorial, uh, tutorials. And you never know, you might learn something too. Uh, so, the selector tool allows you to do the following. Uh, select an object, move or reposition an object, um, change the size of an object height and width and define how those changes are constrained, rotate or skew an object, set the origin of an object uh, for flipping the object horizontally or vertically, um, naming uh, an object and uh, changing how uh, the selected object is, is displayed. That's uh, kind of a long list, so like I said, I'm probably going to end up doing this in more than one tutorial. So this is part one, and I'm going to start off with select an object. Okay, so the selector tool is this uh, tool right here, um, and just by clicking an object, you can select it. So I'm, I'm going to click that object that is now selected, or I can click that object, that object. Uh, you can click on multiple objects by clicking and dragging around the objects that you want. Any objects not inside your uh, your drag box will not be selected. So if I click and drag like that, um, I should get just the square or the rectangle and the circle and not the star. Yeah. Uh, you can change that functionality to select anything that your drag box, drag box touches. So that would select the star too. Um, but I'm not going to get into, into that here. Uh, you can also hold down the shift key, um, which if I do it, you can see that uh, on the cursor, I get the little plus and minus sign next to the arrow without it, with it. Um, and with that, I can individually choose which ones I, I select. So if I want just the star and the box, I could, I'm still holding down the shift key. Uh, I've got all three of them selected right now. If I click on that, now I only have two selected. Uh, so if I were to grab it and move it around, you can see. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's how that works. If you uh, want to select an object that's under something else, yeah, uh, you can hold down the Alt key, and you get the arrow pointed down, the cursor arrow pointed down. Yeah, see that? And then I can select something that's underneath it. So I clicked while holding down the Alt key, and I ended up selecting the box. Now that works even when there's multiple things. So I'll hold down the Alt key again, and uh, Holding on the Alt key, click on the this. I, first I get the star, then I get the circle, and the third time I get the square. Right? It goes, it steps down for the things that are from the front all the way to the back. Uh, okay, so that's uh, selecting an item. Uh, next, we're going to talk about moving or repositioning object. Now there are several ways to reposition an object with selector tool. The first and probably the easiest way is just to grab the object and move it around. Yeah. So you click it, drag it, and then release it where you want it. A second way to change the position of an object uh, on the page is by using the X and Y coordinates, which are listed up here in these boxes. See the X and Y? You can either enter in uh, exact values here. So if I wanted to, I've got the star selected. If I change this to uh, from 396 to 400 and just hit Enter, you see it moves slightly. Or I can use these little nudge handles to nudge it by exact pixels. Yeah. Um, and the third way to do it is by using the arrow keys. Now, uh, arrow keys are used to uh, to nudge things. Now you can, if I go to utilities options on the general tab. At the very bottom, there's this uh, thing here that says nudge size, and that's one pixel. Yeah, that's what I have it set to. You can change that if you want to, but uh, that's the default value. Um, now, if I take this uh, this star and use an arrow key either up or down, right or left, just the arrow key by itself that nudges that uh, w the selected item by that much, one pixel. Um, now, there are uh, 
different uh, modifiers that you can use in conjunction with those. Uh, control, holding down the control key and using the arrow, nudges things five times the normal distance. So five times one pixel is five pixels, right? I'm moving it five pixel. The next thing is the shift. If you hold down the shift key and press the arrow, right? That goes 10 times the, uh, the nudge distance. So again, one, uh, one uh, uh, pixel times uh, 10 is 10 pixels, yeah? Uh, then you can go uh, control shift nudge, control shift and nudge, and that moves it by one fifth of a pixel or one fifth of the normal distance. Okay, in this case, uh, one pixel is the normal distance, so it's, uh, you know, basically two tenths. Um, alt, uh, holding down the alt key and nudging things, nudges things by one pixel always, and alt shift nudge, uh, nudges things by uh, um, 10 pixels always. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm starting to go kind of long, so I'm gonna stop here, and this will be the end of part one.